we're all familiar with mobile broadband. It's been uh, hugely successful around the world. Um, around about uh, 70% of the world was, 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 co was covered by mobile broadband uh, towards the end of last year, and uh, this will rise to 90%. Now, the main uh, direction for the industry is LTE. Um, LTE uh, itself is taking a growing share, many hundreds of millions of customers, and it brings with it technology improvements, efficiencies, high speed, uh, low latency, and, uh, and many benefits, not only for mobile broadband, but I think now the debate is moving beyond mobile broadband to other use cases uh, and, and business models for monetizing uh, LTE and mobile broadband. For example, it, it's no surprise that other sectors such as transportation are looking at how mobile broadband can help them with their business and, and their efficiencies. Also public safety, um, public protection and disaster relief emergency services and so on. Now, with these new technology developments coming with LTE and the coverage footprint, uh, it also creates new opportunities being looked at for the broadcasting industry, uh, perhaps as new ways to distribute their content to new audiences, especially mobile audiences, because we're all rather addicted to our smartphones and, and tablets. And within the LTE uh, standardization process, there's a technology called LTE broadcast, which is very interesting. Many operators around the world are looking at this now because it brings the opportunity to deliver efficiently uh, services such as video streaming. Um, it allows uh, software updating. For example, a major uh, app can be downloaded uh, hundreds of millions of times um, and it, it doesn't really affect how many users there are. So these are multiple users services. Broadcasters in some parts of the world are looking at distributing their content using LTE. And I think the combination of, uh, of these efficiencies, together with uh, a wide footprint, which has the potential to grow uh, even wider when more low frequencies are being used, around about 700 megahertz band, uh, the APT 700 band in particular, uh, this uh, gives uh, even more opportunities. But however, on the other side, it could bring potential conflicts with the broadcast industry because they themselves are using these uh, sub one gigahertz frequencies. So the panel will discuss uh, really uh, what progress we're making towards convergence of uh, broadcasting and mobile broadband. Uh, we have a panel which has, um, I think, the right stakeholders, they're the they're representatives of the broadcast industry, uh, manufacturing industry, um, and uh, an analytical comment. And we shall see uh, what progress can be made and try to have a productive session um, and the outcome, I hope, won't be showing that there is potentially a big conflict between mobile operators and networks and broadcasters. But indeed, these are new opportunities for new use cases, new business models um, as, a, as a fundamental uh, drive towards the convergence of, um, of uh, broadcasting and mobile broadband uh, delivery. So uh, I invite you to join us. Thank you.